Hi there. Have you used chatbots? You've probably come across them on websites where they start talking to you. But did you know that they could help your company in other ways? My name is Pashari, the founder of BrandNow.Asia. We provide marketing and PR services to some well-known brands such as Grab, Lala Move, and Shopback. Stay tuned for tips on how you can use chatbots for your company. So a few years ago, online marketing was all about infographics and apps. But now, the rules are changing and people start to understand the true potential of a new player, chatbots. First of all, what are chatbots and why does everyone keep talking about them? They are computer programs designed to simulate conversation with a human user, using more or less complicated answer system, usually on the internet. You've probably seen one on the company website or on Facebook pages. By the way, most of the hype actually came when Facebook implemented it to their messaging app, Facebook Messenger, which keeps growing. Today, with its 1.3 billion users, the Facebook Messenger app is obviously a great opportunity for businesses. Thanks to this, customers are getting more and more comfortable talking with bots online, and they enjoy the ability to solve customer services problems on their own. So now we're gonna dive into the question, how can chatbots can be useful to your company? First, what you should know is that a basic chatbot can be very easy to build. Of course, it depends on what you want to achieve, but you can design a simple bot based on the Facebook Messenger app without any programming experience. Today, a lot of websites offer you the opportunity to build your own chatbot for free. They emphasize the company's brand image. They represent the company when it's communicating with the customers. So, from a marketing point of view, is the perfect embodiment of brand building. They offer a straightforward service. A well-optimized bot communicates only the essentials and does not overwhelm the user. Which is good because we all know that people tend to stand away from overwhelming brand communications these days. Most of the apps nowadays, actually 80% of them, are used only once and then are deleted. But the only type of app that stays relevant no matter what are the messaging apps. That's why chatbots are going to grow in relevance in the next few years. Also, it can be very easy to get one of the most quote-unquote simple chatbots. It doesn't cost much. And some companies even develop their own and only requires very little maintenance. Here are some examples of the different two types of chatbots. The first one is the simplest type of chatbot. It's also known as scripted. Conversation with this type of bot can only take place in predefined ways and directions, such as easy contact with the company or product services. The bot only asks the questions it was programmed to ask. It has no room for improvisation or flexibility, unless of course you program it to answer millions of different questions. The second type, the intelligent, or AI-based chatbots. These ones usually use artificial intelligence that allows the bot to provide more flexible responses to the user questions. They basically learn from every response they get. They are used to have a more realistic conversation with the customer and answer more complex demands. It can be a good idea to have one in a small or medium-sized business, or startup even, as it allows you to have some sort of basic customer support without the need to have a full-time employee being in charge of it. But one thing to be aware of is that the bot isn't about replacing a human. This is very important, as these bots aren't made to take full control of your customer service, but only to ease the customer experience and help you be more efficient with your answers. To conclude this video, I would say that the difficulty of chatbot creation is not the implementation, but the design itself. You will need to figure out what the purpose of a single function will be, and then you need to plan the conversation in details. You have to control the conversation from start to finish. With a little patience and some very basic tools, you can make it as well. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.